typically a fixed price return. So just so you know what the hell is going on. So right now, here I am on a product and you can see here, we are in control of this product price. So that is our suggested retail price and that's also our selling price. Uh, we're in control of that. It's not on sale, blah, de, blah, de, blah, okay? However, you can on Amazon, let Amazon control your pricing for you and it will automate your pricing uh, to better serve the customers that you're going after. I'm just trying to think how to word this properly for you without sounding like an asshole. Um, however, I don't think it's a good idea to do that because Amazon's end game is not to maximize your profits, it's to maximize their revenue. And they are, while sometimes they can be the same thing, oftentimes, however, they're mutually exclusive goals that you've got and Amazon's got. So, I don't use automated bidding, automated pricing. I much prefer to monitor it and control it myself. So I suspect what's happened here, Amro, is this. Every time you sell a product on Amazon, Amazon gets paid twice if you're FBA. Firstly, there's a commission on the sale of that product. Secondly, there's a FBA fee for the fulfillment of that. And let's just say, for ease of math, that the commission is $3 and the FBA fee is $7. And typically, the way that you get these alerts is you've tried to lower the price of your product below $10. So there's no way now for Amazon to get the fee that it wants, the commission that it wants, and the FBA fee that it wants. And so in those situations, they will simply stop you selling the product because Amazon can't get paid what it needs to get paid. So they'll simply stop you selling the product. So I suspect that's what's gone off. You've tried to lower your price too much. Now, what I'm going to suggest you do is I'm going to suggest that you go back into your listing and take over the pricing of your product and raise the price of your product again so that Amazon can make its pound of flesh and you can make your pound of flesh too. Uh, that's That typically fixes that particular product problem. But it's an interesting problem because it's a new problem that Amazon has only recently, because they've only recently been automating pricing uh, come up against. And so lots and lots of sellers have come up against that. Hope that helps. Very, very good question. Not been asked that before, so that's kind of cool. Hey, thanks so much for watching that video and I hope that you got some massive value from it. Before you go, do you live in Australia? If you do, this is for you. Would you like to learn how to sell things on Amazon here in Australia? Would you like to know what sells really, really well and what sells for the maximum amount of profit? Would you like to know where you can source those products from, whether that be in China or here in Australia and how to source them so you pay bottom, bottom dollar and get maximum value for what you're doing. If you do, please subscribe to my channel and like this video and you'll learn that and much, much more. It's the exact same information that people like Jeff from New South Wales I've used to make $45,000 a month on Amazon that Sue, who's from the sunny coast, has used to purchase herself a brand spankly BMW every single year as a result of her e-commerce business. And the lovely Kate from Barrel in New South Wales has used to make $32,000 a year on, uh, sorry, a month, not a year, a month on Amazon. And indeed, Anthony, who makes $15,000 a month on Amazon, selling, as he puts it, odds and sods. If you'd like to learn the exact same inf information that they use to maximize their profits for their Amazon businesses, subscribe to this video, like my channel, and um, post below if you want me to teach you something. Okay, I'm out of here. Speak to you soon. Bye. Subscribe. Subscribe. Do it now.